of Israel, as he said, and shall he not do it? As he spoke in, and shall he not make it good? Behold, I have received commandment to bless. I have received commandment to bless. A true pastor receives a commandment from God to bless God's people. The one who comes and is angry, fighting with the church, almost cursing the church, insulting the church, abusing the church, cutting down the church, contradicting the church. And then when you come in, by the time the service ends, you are worse at the end than at the beginning. The pastor is angry. The preachers are angry. And the unfortunate members are suffering. That's not a true shepherd. Give me a good amen. amen. A true shepherd has received a commandment to bless. He has blessed. And Balaam cannot reverse it. And Balak cannot reverse it. And the prodigal son cannot reverse it. And Jonah cannot reverse it. He has not beheld iniquity in Jacob. Neither has he seen perverseness in Israel. The Lord is God is with him. And the shout of a king is among them. God brought them out of Egypt. He has, as it were, the strength of a unicorn. Surely, somebody at me shout, surely. There is no enchantment against Jacob. There's no enchantment against you. There is no black power, black magic against you. There is no evil tongue, evil eye against you. Neither is there any divination against Israel. As the Lord said, According to this time shall be said in Jacob and of Israel, What has God wrought? Is going to do something in your life. Faith expects. Faith expects God's word to be fulfilled. Here I come to the presence of God. And I want to pray. Before you pray, identify a promise of God. Something he has said. And base your expectation on that promise. Not on how you feel, not on the energy and the loudness of the person leading the prayer, not on emotion, not on whether you are kneeling or standing, not on the shaking, and not on the, you know, things that some people do, clapping their hands or turning around or doing that. You don't base your faith on that. You look at a promise of God and then you base your expectation on that promise of God. It will be done. It must be done. Jeremiah chapter 1. I'm reading from verse 12. Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 12. The expectation of faith. This is how faith works. Jeremiah 1 verse 12. Then said the Lord unto me, Thou hast well seen, for I will hasten my word to perform it. He will hasten his word tonight. Hasten his promise tonight. There will be a performance in your life tonight in Jesus' name. Ezekiel chapter 12. In Ezekiel chapter 12, Reading from verse 25. For I am the Lord. You see your Lord? I will speak. And the word that I speak 
shall come to pass. He will speak to your heart. He will write the promise on the canvas of your heart. And it says, and the word I speak shall come to pass. It shall no more be prolonged. The promise of God for your life, it shall no more be prolonged. Somebody had a dream. And the Lord said, this is what I will do. And it came right out of the word of God. And since that time, you have been expecting this will be done. And it has not been done. But now God says, today. No more delay. It will not be prolonged anymore in Jesus' name. Verse 28, verse 28, Therefore say unto them, Thus says the Lord God, There shall none of my words be prolonged anymore. None of my promises be prolonged anymore. It will happen. Faith expects that God's power will prevail. Faith expects that God's promise will be realized. Faith in God, in the true God, does not expect him to fail. Do you expect God to fail? Faith in God does not expect Satan to be greater than God, higher than God, stronger than God. They will come down from your life. Faith does not expect that we see or we feel to be more real than the invisible God. I don't expect faith to say that that chair you're sitting on is more real because it's solid than the invisible God. The things that are not seen, they're more real. The air that we breathe, are you breathing? I'm asking somebody there. Yeah. Do you see the air you are breathing? No. no. What you don't see is more important than what you see. You cannot live by that chair you are sitting on. Even though you can see it, you can feel it, you can touch it, it's solid, you can pick it up because it's tangible. But it is not as important as the air we breathe that you cannot see. The things we don't see, they're more important. That's what gave Moses the victory. That's what gave Moses the power. Because he lived a seen him that is invisible. And so, tonight, the expectation of faith will bring a performance of all the promises of God in your life. Whatever promise you are holding on to, whatever promise you are expecting to be fulfilled, tonight is the night of fulfillment. The expectation of faith will grant answers to every prayer. Before you pray, before you ever open your mouth, your expectation is, what I'm going to tell God now is going to be done. By the time we hear the final amen, I know it is so. That is faith. Expectation of faith will bring solution to all problems. All the problems you are bringing in tonight, all those problems are solved in Jesus' name. Expectation of faith will bring freedom, freedom from all bondage. The chains are broken. The fetters are broken. And all the things that bind you, they'll be totally destroyed in Jesus' name. Expectation of faith will bring righteousness in daily living. It says, go and sin no more. You accept that. You believe that. And sin 
will not have dominion over you. The expectation of faith brings power for your hour. Whatever is the challenge of the hour, whatever is the difficulty of the time, faith will bring power to overcome. In summary of that point, faith will bring the sufficiency of Christ into your life. No need, no lack, no limitation in your life. As you approach God by faith, you understand that I'm expecting this to be done. They'll be done in Jesus' name. Point number two now, the expression of faith in God's presence. The expression of faith in God's presence. Now look up here for a moment. Let's say, for example, now you come to the presence of your father, earthly father. And then you look at your father knowing that you are in his presence. And you say, Dad, I don't believe you. I don't believe that that thing you said, you will do it. And your dad says, do you mean I'm a liar? Well, I didn't use that word, but... That's the implication. And when you come to the presence of the Heavenly Father, the way you express yourself will show the faith you have that you are expressing what you actually believe of your Heavenly Father. The expression of faith in God's presence. How do we express ourselves? In the presence of God. Second Samuel chapter 7, verse 25. Second Samuel chapter 7, reading from verse 25. In verse 25, it says, And now, O Lord God, this man is expressing himself in the presence of God. The word that thou hast spoken concerning thy servant and concerning his house, establish it forever. Tell me what follows. Tell me out loud. All together, you say one, two, three, go. That's how you express yourself in the sight of God, in the presence of God. Faith comes in the presence of God. And all he's saying is, you said you were healed, do as thou hast said. You said, whosoever comes to you, you will not cast out, do as thou hast said. You said, I am the Lord that sanctify you, do as thou hast said. You say that your promise will no more be prolonged, do as thou hast said. When you come to the presence of God, you express your faith by bringing the promise of God to him and saying, do as thou hast said. We're coming to 1 Kings chapter 17, the expression of faith. The expression of faith. Chapter 17 verse 1. And Elijah the Tishbite, who was of the inhabitants of Gilead, said unto Ahab, look at this, as the Lord God of Israel liveth. Can God die? Tell me. So Elijah said, God cannot die. And as long as God is alive, as Lord as God, the God of Israel, liveth before whom I stand in God's presence. What I say now, Elijah was telling Ahab, I say, as in the presence of God, there shall not be dew nor rain these years, but according to my word, is the expression of faith in the presence of God. 
when you, after you have prayed, then you talk to people. Remember, God is there. Are you in the presence of God? And say, according to my word, this will happen. You will not say, I am dying. No help. No sustenance. No care. Nobody loves me. What are you saying? In the presence of God, bring out your faith and speak by faith the expression of faith in God's presence according to my word. According to my word, that word will be fulfilled. Look at verse 13. In verse 13, Elijah said unto her, Fear not, fear not, fear not. Many people, Christians, they live in fear. They are imprisoned by fear. They are captured by fear. Their heart is seized by fear. You know why? They live in the presence of man. They live in the presence of, wo of a woman. And they think, that man can hurt me. That woman can injure me. They don't see their God. They don't understand, I am with you. Tell me the next word. Always, unto the end of the world, the Lord is with you. And it's greater than that woman. And it's greater than that man. Anywhere you are, you understand you're in the presence of God. Because he goes with you everywhere. He will never leave you. And therefore you can say, fear not, as thou hast said. Do as thou hast said. And make me thereof a little cake first. And bring it unto me. And after, make for thee and for thy son. For thus says the Lord God of Israel. Was he in church? I said, was he in church? No. Was he preaching? No. You see, there are some people, they only declare the word of God when they are preaching. They only declare the word of God when they are in the house fellowship. If they go to somebody's house, a widow's house, and that widow has nothing, and the widow is crying, they start crying with her. I'm sorry. This is terrible. I'm sorry what you are going through. I feel it to the depth of my heart. Uh -huh. Exaggerating the problem. But Elijah, he go to that house. If you are a man, you are a man every hour of the day. If you're a woman, you're a woman every hour of the day. Okay, I said that to say this. If you are a prophet, you are a prophet every hour of the day. It is not that you are a prophet in church and then you're an ordinary empty person outside wherever you are. Anywhere you are, if you're a prophet, you're a prophet. If you're a pastor, you're a pastor. If you're a servant of God, you're a servant of God. In the widow's house, on the road, in the bus, anywhere you find yourself, a prophet is always a prophet. And so, in that house is said, thus says the Lord God of Israel, the barrel of meal shall not waste. The barrel of meal shall not waste. Neither shall the cruise of oil fail until the day that the Lord sendeth rain upon the earth. And she went and did according to the saying of Elijah. And she went, tell me, and did according to the saying of Elijah. That woman counted Elijah a prophet. Elijah is no more here. 
But thank God I'm here. And if I tell you something, you know, familiarity brings unbelief. Yes, I understand. Family brings content over there. But familiarity brings unbelief. Because we're together. Because we interact. Because we know. That's how you used to say. That's the verse you quote. Point one, point two, point three. Familiarity. Then you don't believe. Thank God tonight you believe. It is well with you. The prayer you pray today and the rest of your life, God will always answer you. She went and did according to the saying of Elijah. And she and he and her house did eat many days. And the bile of meal wasted not. Neither did the cross of oil fail, according to the word of the Lord, which he spake by Elijah. I believe God. I said, I believe God. Uh, look at Psalm 16, verse 8. Psalm 16, verse 8. I have set the Lord always before me, God's presence, because it's at my right hand. Tell me now. Say that aloud. Let Satan hear. That's what to say. That's what to say. This one comes, that one comes, that one erupts, that one is broken down. Your God is greater than that. I shall not be moved. Psalm 26. Psalm 26, verse 1. Judge me, O Lord, for I have walked in my integrity. I have trusted also in the Lord. Therefore, say it for yourself. Therefore, say it again, I shall not slide. I will not backslide. I said, I will not backslide. The same grace available for me is also available for you. The same power that upholds me, that same power upholds you. You will not backslide. Psalm 62, I'm reading from verse 6. 62, verse 6. He only is my rock and my salvation. He is my defense. He will defend you. In the day, he will defend you. In the night, he will defend you. And when you don't even know what may be happening, he will continue to defend you. He only is my rock and my salvation. He is my defense. What do I say? What's your expression of faith? I shall not be moved. Psalm 118. Psalm 118. Psalm 118. We're reading verse 17. Psalm 118. Verse 17, I'm waiting for you to open the Bible. You will possess this verse. You will experience this verse. You will express your faith according to this verse. One, two, three, go everybody, verse 17. Typhoid fever will not kill you. Malaria will not kill you. And those six hanging out in the night will not kill you. And the things happening to other people, that one is gone, that one is gone, 
when I come back, I will still see you there. Say it again, verse 17. If, if sickness ever comes your way, if sickness ever knocks at the door, before you think of any other thing, you know, and before you even pray, before you even say anything to the Lord, before you express your faith in a verbal manner in prayer, you come here and you say, I will not die. I will not die. I'm looking at somebody there. I will not die. But leave. Your wife will not die. She will live. That your child will not die. He will live. That loved one in the hospital now will not die. But leave. You will not die. You will leave. And you will declare the works of the Lord in Jesus' name. Isaiah chapter 50. Isaiah chapter 50. I'm reading from verse 7. Isaiah chapter 50 verse 7. For the Lord God will help me. The Lord God will help me. Therefore, I shall not be confounded. Therefore, I have set my face like a flint. And I know that I shall not be ashamed. Shame is gone. Reproach is gone. There is the expression of faith in the presence of God. Psalm 17. Psalm 17. I'm reading from verse 15. 17. Verse 15. 15. As for me, I will behold thy face in righteousness. I, I shall be satisfied. I shall be satisfied. When I awake with thy likeness, it will satisfy you. Acts of the Apostles. Chapter 27, Acts chapter 27, I'm reading from verse 25, Acts 27, verse 25, wherefore, sirs, be of good cheer, take away your sorrow, wipe away the tears, brothers and sisters tonight, be of good cheer. Are you carrying a heavy load? Be of good cheer. Yeah. Is life endangered? Be of good cheer. Yeah. Are you suffering pain in your body? Be of good cheer. Yeah. Have you been defeated in the battles of life? Be of good cheer. Yeah. For I believe God. I believe God that it shall be it shall be, it shall be, even as it was told me. Everything you have had tonight, it shall be. Answers to your prayer, it shall be. Yokes broken, it shall be. Power for service, it shall be. Faith expresses God's promise, not man's fears, not Satan's doubts, not enemy's threats, not present circumstances, not bodily pain, not historical ideas, not current trends. When you come before God in prayer, the only thing you express is the promise of God. Faith contains 
against fear. Fear will not hold in your life. Faith conquers contrary feeling. Whatever negative feeling you feel, you have, when you come to God in prayer, faith will conquer everything. Faith calms frightening thoughts. Somebody told you something, and it's a sudden fear. Move on to your face. Face will calm those frightening thoughts. Face corrects all false suppositions. Suppositions are superstitious. It happened to them like this, like this, like that. And there are some people that go to dig at the backyard of their houses. They're looking for generational causes, superstition, supposition. There's no curse upon the life of a child of God. And faith corrects all the false suppositions. Faith controls the fury of the enemy's fire. Nebuchadnezzar said, Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego. What am I hearing? Is it true that you will not bow to my idol? Is it true? You will not surrender your life to me? Is it true? You will not submit to my idolatry? Now, I give you another chance. When you hear the sound of the carnage, the dulcimer, and all the instruments of music of the idol worshippers, if you fall down and worship me, all right. But if you refuse, who will deliver you out of my hand? Faith controls and cancels the fury of the fear of the enemy. Some people cannot look up at the faces of their enemies. They're always looking down. When you're looking down, they catch you. They club you. They know that your heart does not fully depend on your God. Look up. Because you are going up. Look up. Because he has lifted you up. Look up. Nebuchadnezzar is a nobody in the sight of the almighty God. In the next chapter, Nebuchadnezzar is going to eat grass like an animal. Yeah. Is that the person you're afraid of? They looked up at him. They said, oh, Nebuchadnezzar, the king, we're not careful. We're not worried. We're not anxious. So answer you. If it be so, go ahead. Make your fire. The God will serve. Somebody there is serving an almighty God. The God we serve is able to deliver us out of your hand. Nebuchadnezzar became more furious. They will eat their words. That thing they said, I'll cast you there. No, they'll cast their own people there. And he cast Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego into the fire. The people that cast them into the fire... The, fire, the flame of the fire burnt them and they died. But thank God I shall not die. But live. And I will declare the works of God. And Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, those are my companions. Those are my friends. They are my senior brothers. We belong to the same father. The same sin, the same protection on them will be upon me. Amen for me, I work for you. Yeah. This stood up. In that fire, you will stand. Yeah. And then Jesus came from heaven. He's coming to you. Yeah. He will never leave you. He will never forsake you. And the Kadnisa got up. He was surprised. They will be surprised. All the things we did to that young man, all the things we did to that young woman, she's still succeeding. She's still standing. She's still healthy. 
she is growing younger. They'll be surprised. He called his people. Did we not cast three people into the furnace? Behold, I see four. One, two, three, four. And the appearance of the fourth one is like the Son of God. You have won the victory. Faith controls the fury of the enemy's fire. Faith confirms the faithfulness of God. God is faithful. I said God is faithful. I said God is faithful. And faith continues to hold fast until it is done. And it becomes a reality. God will work out his goodness in your life in Jesus' name. Amen. Acts chapter 27, reading from verse 25. Wherefore, sirs, be of good cheer. Are you still sorrowful? I say, are, are you despondent? Be of good cheer, for I believe God that it shall be even, even, even as it was told me. Point number three, the experience of faith by God's people. The experience of faith by God's people. Look at Romans chapter 4. Romans chapter 4. I'm reading from verse 16. It says in verse 16, Therefore, it is of faith. Your life from today, it is of faith. Your work, serving God from today, it is of faith. And you're moving on, walking with God. It is of faith. That it might be by grace, to the end, the promise might be, made, might be sure to all the seed, not to that only which is of the law, but also to that which is of the faith of Abraham, who is the father of us all. The faith of Abraham. What kind of faith are you supposed to have? The face of Abraham. I said, what kind of faith are you supposed to have? The faith of Abraham. What are the characteristics of that faith? Look at verse 17. Number one, the foundation of that faith is the written promise of God. The written promise of God. Look at verse 17. As it is written, I have made thee a father of many nations, before him whom he believed, even God who quickened the dead and called those things would be not as though they were. What kind of faith? The faith that is based on the reaching promise of God. Open your Bible. Look for a promise there that goes along with the challenge you have. And as you see that promise, you base your faith on that reaching promise. Number two, the latter part of verse 17. Who quickness the dead and calleth those things which be not as though they were. You're praying and then you're calling uh, the solution. Even though you've not seen the solution, and you're calling those things which be not as though they were. You see yourself on the other side of the ocean. Let us cross over. And while you're still on this side, you see yourself on that side. I see myself strong. I'm talking about you. I see myself strong. Let the weak say, I am strong. See it before you have it. Calling those things would be not as though they were. Number three, believing and hoping against hope. Look at that. Verse 18, 
who against hope believed in hope. Against hope, it was a hopeless situation, and yet she believed in hope that she might become the father of many nations according to that which is spoken, so shall thy seed be. Number four, you are not weak in faith and you will not consider your physical condition. You are not weak in faith, you will not consider your physical condition. Brother, let's go out for evangelism. Don't you see me? The way I am now, what do you think I can do? If I go, don't you think I will die by the way? Ah, he has not changed his language. When everything bad is turning to good, when the weak are becoming strong, and when the promises of God are yes and amen in our lives, he's still talking like the old, old situation, and he's weak in faith, I will not be weak in faith. You will hope against hope that he might become the father of many nations, According to that which is spoken, so shall thy seed be. And being not working in faith, he considered not his own body now dead. When he was about a hundred years old, neither yet the deadness of Sarah's womb. Number one, the foundation of faith is the written promise. Number two, you are calling those things which be not as though they were. Number three, you're believing, hoping against hope. Number four, you're not weak in faith and you're not considering physical conditions. Number five, not staggering in unbelief. You will not shake. The Lord is on my side. I shall not be moved. Look at verse 20. He staggered not at the promise of God through unbelief. And then we're told, number six now, he was strong in faith, giving glory to God. You will have a testimony. You will give your testimony. Things will change from tonight. Strong in faith, giving glory to God. Number seven, you're fully persuaded of performance. I am persuaded tonight, a performance in your life. Verse 21, I'm being how persuaded? I'm being how persuaded? Fully persuaded that what he has promised, he was able also to perform. What God has promised tonight is able to perform. Able to perform. Where? I said where? It is done. Mark chapter 9, verse, 20, verse 23. Jesus said unto him, If thou canst believe, all things are possible to him, that believeth, Lord, I believe. Mark chapter 11. I'm reading from verse 12. Mark 11, verse 12. And on the morrow, when they were come from Bethany, he was hungry. And seeing the fig tree afar off, having leaves, he came, if haply he might find anything thereon. And when he came to it, he found nothing but leaves. For the time of figs was not yet. Look at this. And Jesus answered and said unto it, No man eat fruit of thee hereafter forever. And his, and, and his disciples heard it. But they didn't see any change. But Jesus said it, and Jesus knew since he had said it, it must happen. 
But the disciples did not see any change. But look at verse 20. And in the morning, the following day, they passed by. And they saw the fig tree. Tell me. Say it now. With assurance. Dried up from the roots. Look up here. Jesus spoke the word. No man eat fruit of thee anymore forever. And the disciples were looking at the branches. They were looking at what they can see. They could not see the root. And because they could not see the root, they didn't know that the answer had come. As they were passing by the following day, they saw that the whole tree had dried up from the root. What happens is, let's say somebody has cancer. And there's the visible evidence of that cancer. The sore and the swelling. But you see, the cancer has root into the body. And when the prayer of the man of God, or your own prayer, says, cancer, be healed, come out. And the people of God said, Amen. Amen. You might still be seeing the outward evidence of the cancer, but the root has dried up. Yeah. And when I see you the next day, now the branches are also all dried up. Sometimes you have a problem, and the problem is like a tree. There is a visible part of the problem, and there's a root, invisible part of the problem down deep into your life. And the, the curse of that problem hidden away like the roots. When we speak the word of God, and I say, you are delivered in Jesus' name. And the people of God said, Amen. The root that you did not see, and you do not see, all that one dries up. And then as the root dries up, there is nothing to sustain the branches. The branches too will dry up. Your mountains will move. Your problems will vanish away. The sickness will be healed. And when you hear that word, from the root, the work is done. Yeah. Verse 22, and Jesus answering says unto them, have faith in God. For verily I say unto you, that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart. But shall believe that those things which he says shall come to pass. Tell me, he shall have whatsoever he says. Tonight, I will have whatsoever I say. I will have whatsoever I say. Say it with conviction. I will have. Whatsoever I say, therefore I say unto you, what things soever ye desire. When ye pray, believe that ye receive them. Believe that ye receive them. And ye shall have them. That's faith. That's faith. Faith is believing and receiving before you see it. And as you have that faith tonight, remember, before you pray, there's an expectation. There's something you're hoping for. There's something you desire. And then you look at the promise of God, and the promise of God will not fail. And it says, I will do it now. It will no longer be prolonged. And then you say, Lord, now I come. Here is my expectation. Do as you have said. And the answer has come already. Rise up and tell the Lord. Rise up and tell the Lord. 
put your Bible on your chair and be very free and tell the Lord, oh Lord, tonight is a night of blessing for me, a night of strength for me, a night of solution for me, a night of empowerment for me, a night of realization for me, a night of having, a night of receiving that which I am asking. Tell the Lord, tell the Lord. And take your expectation to the Lord in prayer. What do you expect tonight? What are you expecting tonight? What are you expecting tonight? Any challenge in your life you want the Lord to remove? The work of God you're doing, how is it? What are you expecting the Lord to do? Strengthen you. Empower you. Uphold you, re energize you, refresh you, and renew your zeal. What's your expectation tonight? Training brings transformation. What area of your ministry, area of your life, area of your family? Are you expecting there'll be a transformation tonight? A renewal tonight, a reproduction tonight, that the Lord will reproduce, reproduce, reproduce the confidence and the courage of the Lord, the power, the conviction of the Lord, reproducing you the courage, the boldness to do the work of God, reproduce the fruitfulness, expectation will not be cut short. Your expectation will not be cut short. Your expectation will not be cut short. You come with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind. I know the thought that I think towards you. Thoughts of peace and not of evil. Thoughts of progress and not of retrogression. I know the thoughts I think towards you. Thoughts of achievement, thoughts of success, not of failure, not of defeat, to give you an expected end, to give you an expected end. What's your expectation? To be strong, not to remain weak. To be prayerful, not to remain prayerless. To be focused, not to be distracted. What's your expectation? To be strong, not to be weak. What's your expectation tonight? To go to a higher level, higher level, higher level. Not to be low lower level what's your expectation tonight fulfillment of the promise of god in your life a performance a performance a performance fulfillment of the glorious promise of god promise of restoration Promise of renewal. Promise of strength. Promise of holding on, holding firm, steadfast unto the edge. The expectation of faith and coach on the promises of God based on the promises of God 
built on the promises of God, a new life, a new energy, a new strength, a new power, a new commitment. Now the expression, you express your faith in the presence of God. Cut off all those negative confessions, all those depressing utterances, cut them off. I am strong. I am well. I am healed. I am delivered. I shall not be confounded. I shall not be ashamed. I shall not die, but live to declare the works of God. I will not fall. I will not backslide. I will not slide. The expression of faith. I believe God. It shall be. Even as it was told me, I believe. I believe. I believe. I'm going stronger and stronger, higher and higher. I believe. Give expression to your faith. Any problem on your child, any child there? Give expression to your faith. Don't let darkness set in in your heart. You are son, daughter of light. Let the light shine. The light of the glory of God. Let it shine. No depression. No despair. No anxiety. No worry. I know. I know. I know. I will see my expectation fulfilled. I believe God. It shall be. Even as it was told me. I believe God. It shall be. Even as I had tonight in the word of God. Believe the Lord your God so will you prosper believe this prophet so will you be established the experience of faith by God's people experience of salvation Experience of holiness, experience of sanctification, experience of power, baptism in the Holy Ghost, experience of healing, experience of health, experience of strength experience of victory over the enemy the experience of faith by god's people tonight experience god more than you have ever done that fruitless tree will die from your life tonight.
In Jesus' name we pray. God has answered your prayer. God has granted you the miracle. God has fulfilled this promise upon your life. There is an addition in your life today. Something you didn't have, you were asking for, you have asked now. The Lord has given it and confirmed it in your life in Jesus' name. I believe God. I believe God. It shall be. It shall be. As it was told me. Your cup will not run dry. Your life will not run dry. You will not be tired in the middle of the way. The project you have started, you will finish. Nobody else will take your place. You'll be stronger. You'll be higher. You'll be healthier. And the goodness of God will never stop in your life. So it shall be. I have received. What are you? I have received. Father, in Jesus' name, I pray for every one of your children, our workers, our leaders, our pastors, overseers here tonight. Lord, I pray, let there be a confirmation in every life, in Jesus' name. Their cups will not be empty. Their hearts will not be weak. In their walk for the Lord, there will be no defeat, there will be no failure power in their lives tonight performance in their lives tonight achievement in their lives tonight success in their lives tonight everywhere they go no man shall be able to stand before them lord i pray every enemy they have conquered already every stronghold they have conquered already I pray everyone here, everyone over there, everyone hearing my voice, lift them up higher. Lift each one up higher. Your sorrow is gone. Your sickness is gone. Your oppression is gone. All the darkness is gone. All the confusion is gone. Your fears are gone. Your doubts are gone answer has come in your life solution has come in your life mountain be removed in jesus name every power of darkness against your life they are broken down in jesus name you will succeed you will overcome all you need to be supplied thank you lord Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Your people are blessed in Jesus' name. Now you can move on from strength to strength. I will hear your testimony. The church will hear your testimony. And the work of God will continue to prosper in your hand. Lord, grant your people all their expectations. Thank you, Lord, because I know you have answered. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. You are blessed. A night where the storms of life dissipate. A night where the captivity of the evil ones are turned away. A night where dry bones receive life and the sick renew strength like the eagles. It is the night where the power of God moves in deepest wonders and might. Join the servants of God, Pastor Dr. W. F. Kumeyi, every first and third Thursdays of every month in this 2024 season for a night of supernatural wonders. Come, bask in abundance in the mighty works of Jesus at 5.45 p.m. at any deeper life location nearest to you. You may just be a praise from your breakthrough.
No turning back till the hand of God is upon you. Give life and the sick renew strength like the eagles. It is the night where the power of God moves in deepest wonders and might. Join the servants of God, Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumeyi, every first and third Thursdays of every month in this 2024 season for a night of supernatural wonders. Come, bask in abundance in the mighty works of Jesus at 5.45 p.m. at any deeper life location nearest to you. You may just be a praise from your breakthrough. No turning back till the hand of God is upon you. Lord and Father, we thank you for this privilege you have given to us to come before your very presence. Thank you, King of Glory, for all the great things you've been doing in our lives each time we come. Today will not be an exception. We pray that the heavens will open and your blessings will come down upon us all today in Jesus' name. As we start now, O Lord, we pray that you will be with us and you will bless us. Thank you, Father, for hearing us. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. You are worthy, O Lord, thou man of Calvary, to receive glory and adoration. You are worthy, O Lord, thou man of Calvary, to receive glory now and forever, now and forevermore. You are worthy, O Lord, thou man of Calvary, to receive glory and adoration. You are worthy, O Lord, thou man of Calvary, to receive glory now and forever, now and forevermore. To receive glory and adoration. You are worthy, O Lord, thou man of Calvary. To receive glory now and forever, now and forevermore. O Lord, thou man of Calvary. To receive glory and adoration. You are worthy, O Lord, thou man of Calvary, to receive glory now and forevermore. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Sing Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna. Hosanna in the highest. Lord, we lift up your name. Lord, we lift up your name. With our hearts full of praise. With our hearts full of praise. Be exalted, O Lord, my God. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna. Sing Hosanna. Sing Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna, 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 Hosanna in the highest. Sing it, Lord, we lift up 
your name. Oh, Lord, we lift up your name with our hearts full of, Lord, with our hearts full of praise. Be exalted, oh, Lord, my God. Hosanna in the highest. He is Lord. He is Lord. Amen. He has risen from the dead. He is Lord. Hallelujah. Every knee shall bow. Every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is the Lord. He is the Lord. He is Lord. He is Lord. Amen. He has risen from the dead. He is Lord. Hallelujah. Every knee shall bow. Every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is the Lord. He is Lord. He is the Lord. Oh, yes. Amen. He has risen from the dead. He is Lord. Hallelujah. Every knee shall bow. Every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is the Lord. You are the Lord that changes not. You are the Lord that changes not. You are the Lord that changes not. Jesus, you are the Lord that changes not. Lord, you are the one that fights our battles. Oh, Lord, you are the one that saves our souls. Jesus, you are the Lord that changes not. Oh, yes, you are the Lord that changes not. Jehovah, you are the Lord that changes not. Oh, Lord, you are the Lord that changes not. Sing, amen, amen, rejoice, amen. Glory be to God, amen. Let us sing. Brethren, rejoice, amen. Glory be to God, amen. Brethren, sing. Let us rejoice, amen. Glory be to the Lord, amen. Let us sing, amen. Let us rejoice, amen. Glory be to God, amen. Brethren, sing, amen. Brethren, rejoice, amen. Glory be to God, amen. All glory, glory, glory to the Lord. All glory, glory, glory to the Lord. Hallelujah, Hosanna. Hosanna, Hosanna, blessed be the name of the Lord. Hosanna, 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 blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. I have found Jesus. Amen. He is able to do all things. Hallelujah. In my life. Amen. Jesus is able to do all things in your life. I have found Jesus. Amen. He is able to do all things. Amen. I have found Messiah. Amen. He is able to do all things. Hallelujah. Amen. He is able to do all things. That same Jesus. 
same Jesus, that same Jesus, same Jesus, that same Jesus, same Jesus, he is the one walking today, same Jesus, same Jesus, that same Jesus, same Jesus, that same Jesus, same Jesus, he is the one walking today, that same Jesus, same Jesus, that same Jesus, same Jesus, that same Jesus, same Jesus, he is the one walking today, that same Jesus, same Jesus, that same Jesus, same Jesus, that same Jesus, same Jesus, he is the one walking today, anywhere he went, he was doing good, almighty healer, he healed the leper, when the crippled saw him, they started walking, even today, my Lord will do you good, he will do you good, oh yes, he was doing good, almighty healer, he healed the leper, when the cripples saw him, they started walking, even tonight, the Lord will do you, he will do you good, anywhere he went, he was doing good. Oh, yes, he healed the leper. When the cripples saw him, they started walking. Even tonight, the Lord will do you good. He's bigger than all my problems. He's bigger than anything. God is bigger than any mountain. I can or cannot see. The Lord is bigger than any mountain. He's bigger than anything. God is bigger than any mountain. I can or cannot see. Jesus is bigger than any problems. He's bigger than anything. God is bigger than any mountain. I can or cannot see. The Lord is bigger than any problems that comes across our way. God is bigger than any mountain I can or cannot see. Jesus is bigger than any mountain. He's bigger than anything. God is bigger than any mountain I can or cannot see. My God is bigger than any problem that comes across my way. God is bigger than any mountain I can or cannot see. I'm not moved by what I see, hallelujah. I'm not moved by what I hear, hallelujah. I'm only moved by the word of God, hallelujah. And upon his promise, I take my stand, hallelujah, hallelujah, eh. Hallelujah, eh. Sing hallelujah, amen, amen, eh. sing hallelujah, shout hallelujah, amen, hallelujah, amen, amen, amen. I'm not moved by what I see. Oh, hallelujah, I'm not moved by what I hear, hallelujah, I'm only moved by the word of God, hallelujah, and upon his promise I take my stand, hallelujah, sing hallelujah, eh. shout hallelujah, eh. sing hallelujah, eh. amen, amen. Brethren, sing hallelujah, eh, shout hallelujah, eh, hallelujah. I stand up on the word of God, the word of God is power. I stand up on the word of God. Oh, brother, stand up on the word of God. My dear sister, stand up on the word of God. 
I say, I am standing upon the word of God. The word of God is power. I stand upon the word of God. Oh, yes, you must stand upon the word of God. Oh, yes, we must live by the word of God. The word of God is pa power in the world. There is power in the healing, power in the word of God, power in the salvation, power in the word of God, power in the deliverance, power in the word of God, power in the word of God, power in the word of God, power in the word of God. God cannot lie, his word must surely come to pass, he will never, never lie. God cannot lie, his word must surely come to pass. He will never fail you because he's not him. Jesus cannot lie, his word must surely come to pass. He will never lie because he's not him. Our God cannot lie, his word must surely come to pass. He will never lie because he's not a God cannot lie I tell you he will never fail you his word our God cannot lie yes he will never lie because he's not a man I will not be ashamed. I will not be ashamed. I will not be ashamed. For the world Lord, is on the throne. I will not be ashamed. 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 Be ashamed, I will not be ashamed. Amen. For the Lord is on the throne. I will not be ashamed. I will not be ashamed. I will not be. Brethren, you will not be ashamed. As you put your trust in this God. Because the Lord is on the throne, you will not be ashamed. You will not be ashamed. You will not be ashamed. It shall be well, it shall be well, it shall be well. It shall be well, the Bible says, it shall be well. It shall be well, it shall be well, it shall be well, it shall be well, it shall be well. It shall be well with your soul, it shall be well. It shall be well with your family, it shall be well. It shall be well, it shall be well. It shall be well, it shall be well, it shall be well. It is well, it shall be well, it shall be well, it shall be well. It shall be well with the church, it shall be well. It shall be well with our nation, it shall be well. It shall be well with your soul, it shall be well. I say it shall be well. Yes, it shall be well. Oh yes, it shall be well, it shall be well, it is well, I believe. Yes, Lord, I believe. Yes, Lord, I believe. It is well with me. It is well with me. Yes, Lord, I believe. It is well with me. Is it well with you? 
Yes, Lord, I believe. Yes, Lord, I believe. It is well with you. Is it well with you? Yes, Lord, I believe it is well with me. Is it well with you? Yes, Lord, I believe. Yes, Lord, I believe it is well with me. I can see the finger of God rewriting my story, my story, my story, rewriting my story. I can see the the finger of God. Oh yes, my story, my story. Can you see the finger of God? Yes, he's rewriting your story. Oh yes, I can see the finger of God. He is rewriting my story, rewriting my story. I can see the finger of God. Oh, my story, my story. Israel must go. Israel, go and tell Pharaoh, Israel, go and tell Pharaoh, Israel, go and tell Pharaoh, Israel, must go, Israel, must go, go and tell Pharaoh, go and tell Satan, go and tell sickness, go and tell problems, you must go tonight, you must be free today, the Lord will touch your life. The Lord will heal you now. Just believe in him. Go and tell Pharaoh. Go and tell problems. Tell that your sickness. You are free today. You are safe today. You are safe today. Israel must go. Israel must go. Israel must go. Goodbye, Pharaoh. Goodbye, Pharaoh. Goodbye, Pharaoh. Bye bye. We are marching on to the victorious city. Goodbye, Pharaoh. I say goodbye, Pharaoh. Bye bye. Goodbye, Pharaoh. Goodbye, goodbye, Pharaoh. Bye bye. Goodbye, Pharaoh. I say goodbye, Pharaoh. Bye bye. Goodbye, sickness. I say goodbye, sickness. Goodbye, sickness. Bye bye. Bye bye. I am marching on to the victorious city. Goodbye, sickness. I say goodbye, sickness. Bye bye. Goodbye, failure. I say goodbye, failure.